Hello YouTube, good day to you. I was uh, correcting my assumptions. I, I may be in cargo work van purgatory during the month of October. This thing is here with a laundry list of goodies that they want to have uh, inspected and looked at. This device is a 2005 GMC 3500 gigantic cube van. And customer states it has a power steering leak. It pulls when braking. It's got some lights out and they would like the front headlights exchanged with uh, HIDs or something that uh, has some higher output. So uh, as per normal operating protocol, we're gonna go out for a test drive and uh, verify some of these concerns, specifically the, the pole while braking. Unfortunately for me, this, uh, this van has a little bit more altitude than what my building can, can accommodate. So I believe I'll be working on this thing outside in the parking lot. Whoa, okay, I've uh, I got a lot of suspension rattle. That felt pretty sketchy to tell you the truth. It was, it was kind of all over the place. Okie dokes, looks like traffic's kind of clear behind us. So let's, uh, let's tappy tap those brakes and see if this thing goes left or right. And yeah, yeah, oh yeah. It's interesting. Yep, as soon as I touch the pedal, look at that. Bam, left. I believe it's got flippity floppity suspension. Let's see what kind of noises we get pulling back into the parking lot. This should be good. Not too terrible. Okay, first things first, there's something about a power steering leak. It's a little low, I can see the fluid. Slight leak at the booster. Uh, let's go down below and see what's going on down there. Can't see much up here. Oh look, a clue. Oh, there it is. That's transmission fluid. It's very red in color, uh, but definitely leaking. Yeah, that's got to be power steering. That's just a power steering cooler. Okay. Well, found that leak. Next concern was uh, AC performance, and it looks like there is no AC performance. We are we're making 80 degrees at the center vent. Let's do a quick peek from what we can see on the AC system. And we already got a winner right there. You guys see all the green dye on that uh, low side cycling switch? Okay, that's gonna get replaced. Uh, check the valves real quick and see if they're leaking. A little bit, I do see some dye there, but that's, uh, that's kind of inconsequential. I replace the valves every time I service AC anyway. Okay, let's jack this front end up and uh, take a look at the suspension parts down there. So I was about to start jacking this up to check this front end stuff and look at what I found here. The sway bar bushing is non-existent. That's definitely cause for some, some rattly rattle. And the same thing's going on on the other side. There's no bushing left. Okay, I seem to be struggling to uh, get my nuts off. Okay, time for some foot pounds of torque. Oh, that's on there. Click, reverse click. Yeah, it's always the last one that gets stuck. There it is. Now, before you guys go full safety police on me, I have two jack stands and three floor jacks holding up this van. So I'm good, it's safe. I can go under there if I want. Okay, so we're down here under the left front wheel well. First things first, I wanna check out these ball joints. I'll check these steering parts. After that, I'll see if I have a caliper issue. What, I, what I'm looking for is something that's gonna cause that uh, brake pole that we saw and felt. And I'm betting these uh, ball joints and control arms are junk. 
Oh, and I just lost my money. That one's good. Hmm, but those bushings in there are not so good. Look at that guy. That's all dry rotted and falling apart. And looks about the same on this one. Let's illuminate that for a better view. Yeah, they are they are a bit crusty. Okay. Yeah, let's see. What else do I see that I see? All right, let's check the uh, tie rods, the inners and the outers. Just a real quick. Yeah, a little bit of play. Nothing terrible. I don't think that's actually the cause of the of the steering wheel jerk when braking. It's something else. Okay, we're moving around to the passenger side. Um, I went ahead and took the weight off this control arm and moved the jack uh, over to the uh, the cross member between the frame rails. And uh, the idea is, is I want to unload the uh, lower control arm so I can try to pry it around and see if I have any motion. Uh, this upper ball joint is in similar condition as the other side. Uh, same thing with these uh, these bushings. Those are in similar condition and I do get some motion out of these things. If we insert pry bar here. Got a little bit of play. There we go, there's some. But the one I'm really focused on here is this lower lower control arm bushings yeah watch this and see if I can get in there at the proper angle don't watch the pry bar watch the control arm it's actually quite a bit of play for what's going on here and I can see right here tip of the pry bar where that bushing is starting to tear and we've got a similar condition on this rear bushing and again it's dry rotted and torn on that uh, inside part of it I also did find there's a decent a bit of play in uh, this outer tie rod and the pitman arm and idler arms which are way buried up in here those have a decent amount of play too all of this stuff from here is original these uh, these control arms are original these lowers are original uh, this steering linkage may not be no it's not there's some blue right there but a lot of this stuff is original components and I know I need to get into it deeply and get all of this stuff disassembled because I've got to get these lower control arms out of here. I think this is the bulk of these problems on this van is the, the bushings on these lowers. Uh, when you hit the brakes and the, the load changes to a side load, these things are shifting around and that's causing that steering wheel to move left and right. It's, I don't believe it's actually a brake caliper issue. Uh, however, it does have a fair amount of, uh, of brake pad wear, so it's actually coming up on brake job time as it is. So I think the recommendation is going to be is to uh, to rebuild this front end with new components. Um, I know that there's some play in these outer tie rods. There's a lot of play in that idler arm and that pitman arm. I'm missing bushings here. I've got torn up and dry rotted bushings here and likewise on the lower. So it's time to to really pull this thing down and uh, and do a do a fresh front end rebuild on it because that's really uh, that's really where this. Uh, this van is at mechanically regarding the suspension at this point. I'll check back in later when I hear word and uh, we will go from there. Well guys, you, you can't win them all. It's been a few hours since, uh, since I was here at this van last. I was building estimates and waiting for everybody to uh, decide if they wanted to fix this or not. And the survey says we're just gonna do a couple little knickknacky things. Uh, we're not gonna handle any of the suspension stuff down below. And uh, I guess they're just going to live with uh, the pulling and driving off the road and steering wheel braking issue. They declined to service uh, anything else on this vehicle, so I'm going to change this cycling switch. I'm going to change that low side connector because I hear it leaking right now. And uh, we're going to do that turn signal bulb, and they're going to take these lenses out and put some reflector lenses in with some HID bulbs. 
so they can see better at nighttime. And I, I think that's going to be about it for this fan. It's quite unfortunate, but I don't own the thing and I don't make the call on it. That's what we're, uh, that's the way it's going to be. So what I'm going to do is, uh, since I am going to change that Schrader valve down there, I'm going to go ahead and recover whatever's left in the system right here. And while that's doing that, I'm going to throw the tires back on this. And by the time I'm done with that, the system should be empty and then I can pull these valves out and swap them out with some new ones. Um, I'm not going to do the high side valve because that one actually costs some money and they don't want to pay for that either. Click. Okay, AC machine's still going. I'm also going to replace this, uh, this power steering cooler because that was kind of a, their immediate problem was this drippy drip. Uh, one issue that we have though is this particular cooler is not available. I was able to get a what Dorman says is a suitable cooler. I understand it doesn't have the fins, but it will bolt on and it will provide some cooling area for the power steering fluid. So this is as good as it gets right now. So this thing is uh, going on in place of this one because you can't have fluid cooling if you don't have any fluid. This one bolts on from up top. I'll have to figure out some way to arrange the fasteners or run new bolts through it or something like that. But I am gonna put this uh, metal line on. It's supposed to be a cooler. And I'm still waiting for this AC machine to finish recovering. We got the tires on. And after that, we can move on to those uh, super high quality, ultra high output headlights. That way they can see where they're going in the dark. Okay, I can't get any power tools in there. So I'm just gonna have to do this manually with a, a ratchet and a socket. The old school way. Even then, it's still a very, very tight squeeze. Yeah, the socket wants to. I'm so, yeah, the socket wants to twist and kind of come off at this angle, like that. Did I hit you guys in the face? Sorry. That almost hit me in the face too. Fortunately, I've got some shade on this side of the truck, but. I'm running out of time. It's late afternoon and as soon as the sun comes around, this is going to be uh, most uncomfortable. Is it coming off or just twisting? I don't know. I'll just keep doing this until something happens. Maybe if I change the angle of the dangle, I can get a better bite on this. I'll try switching hands and sides and I can't get any speed. I've got no the lithium crystal. Hmm. Uh oh, I'm getting to the point where the the nut is starting to reach all the rust on that stud and it's getting bound up. It's not cool. Oh well, slow and steady. Yeah. Steady as she goes. I don't want to round off this nut. Uh, no, I didn't. You mean like on your phone? Oh, he's losing his mind. Poor Pita. Ah, oh, we're going now. Laying on the dirt. Wait, you want a pillow? No, a pillow. You got one? What? I can't. I don't even know what you guys are talking about. About him and your hat back in the day. Oh yeah. What? Well, uh, With your hat. Promise, dog. Yeah. Well, wow. like little ghetto bed. Look at fine as fuck, bro. I don't know. Oh wait, you got the picture? Does he have the pictures? He's got pictures. Oh, I gotta see the pictures. Hang on, man. 
Guys, I'll be right back. Right, I'm back. <laughs> I had to go check out some pictures, but they, they couldn't find them. So I give up. Big old waste of time. Anyway, um, I've got one more of these uh, fasteners to remove and this assembly should fall down. And then I'll cut the lines and uh, see what I can do about fitting that new one in. And this is cumbersome and annoying and slow. I don't like to, I don't like to work this slow. I like to go fast. I'm afraid the bracket's gonna break off. And... Uh oh, lost my socket. It came off. There it is. Click. Okay, it's this goofy 180 degree angle I gotta work with here. Come on. Slip now. It's not good. I need to change angle some. My legs and lower side are out in the sunlight and it's starting to get a little warm. Okay, that's not wanting to come out. It's just starting to slip because of this goofy angle. I need to, I need to improvise my strategy here. Try something different. I'll be right back. Okay, I return again. I'm going to try this with a deeper socket and I'm thinking maybe the head of the ratchet will rest against something and it won't want to angle sideways. Maybe. It's either going to work or it's not. Probably not. Slow and steady and slippy and not working very well. Ooh, that's the, that was the slip that almost made me punch the fins on the cooler. Not cool. Pun intended. Okay, that's not really gonna work either. Switching, try different angles again. I'm just kind of rolling around in the parking lot. Seeing what works, what doesn't. Hmm. Coming angry. I'm running out of shade. That's uh, exponentially making this situation far worse. It's almost there. Well, the AC machine's done. That's a bonus. Come on, you. I've got like 10 more minutes of shade left. And I don't want to hear it down in comment land about when sunlight. So you guys don't know Florida sun. I don't care if it is October. Like it's cool at the beach. It's not cool when I'm at work. I got that last bolt that I left in. Need the short socket for that one. I think. Well, we're sorry, it's at a weird angle, so now you can't get it to come out at all. Thanks for playing. Try again. Oh, way, all the way out of shade. 
Okay, I guess what I should do now is, is cut these rubber hoses off and stick it on the, the new ones, or stick the new one on those hoses. Let's throw some clamps on. <laughs> I got the schmoo on me. Please cut. Mmm, <sighs> overhead petroleum leak. This is... This is a very pleasant job. You know, after going this far, I'm kind of glad I don't have to change uh, those front end parts, because I did. This, this, uh, this is that kind of job that makes you want to quit your job. And for 15 bucks an hour, I might just go and uh, flip some burgers somewhere. Because why would I want to do this? Uh, granted, they pay me more than 15, but still. Oh no, I'm breaking the thing. Oh, it's making a mess. Be right back. The metal's breaking off in the hose before I can get the clamps to come off. So I'm gonna have to come up with a creative solution to solve that problem. Stupid thing. And my GoPro has power steering fluid on it. I sure hope it's gonna survive. Yeah, I'm just gonna cut this thing off. All the way off. Oh, we're sorry. This hose is embedded with metal. You can't be cut through. Should have been an astronaut. trim up this hose that I hacked off and then we can try to put the new cooler on. I said try because nothing is absolute. But I think, knock on wood, I think this is gonna work. Yeah. Okay. Success, success is upon me. Ah, oh, relief, there's a cloud. That's cool, there's a cloud blowing over. got the worst case of noodle arm in my left bicep. Not the bicep, what's the one on the side? It's the side of the arm. It's got the noodly action. So I'm laying on my right side and I'm holding my left arm up and elevated. Either way, that muscle's noodly. Doesn't feel good. Everything is hyper lubricated. It's so lubed up, nothing works. I know, a socket, I'm too far invested, I can't give up now. It's the sunk cost fallacy.
You guys think I should give up the click? Somebody yelled at me in comment land because it's played out and that you get it and, uh, and I should stop and just go back to using a torque wrench. I don't think I'm going to because I like saying click. That's how I remind myself that I torque down the fastener. But if, if you guys hate it, I'll just keep it to myself. Well, I screwed up now. It's not gonna go under there like it's supposed to. Now it is. Okay, so in order for proper hose clearance, um, I'm not gonna be able to reuse those holes, I don't think. I may have to make new ones. So that doesn't really fit that well now that the hoses are on. Yeah, I'll just make new ones. Self-tapping screws. That'll be easy. Okay. Yeah, I'm back with some custom hardware. See, the issue is, is these hoses over here are hitting the steering gear. And I don't really have any clearance to move this around anymore. And I can't really slide that back far enough because it changes the angle. There's a slight bend here. So what I'm gonna do is just run some self-tapping hardware through this and uh, bolt it to this uh, radiator support thing. And have no fear. Um, I can feel around on the other side and there is no radiator in this immediate vicinity So drilling these holes will be acceptable So I can get a bite on that as well It's working. Yes. Okay, and one more on this side. Which I would like to do that right right here. Okay. Stop it. Gravity. swimming in my head very quickly like anger sharks Sweet, it's installed. Oh, that really sucked. Not the most favorite thing I've ever done, but it's done. Let's go back up top and deal with the rest of this AC work. And I can get this thing out of here and then I can get out of here. First things first, let's lose this, uh, this valve. We'll get this old one out. There's gonna be two valves in this accumulator, one for the service port, and then one is gonna be for that um, cycling switch. I probably don't need to change the one in the cycling switch because the O-ring on it will seal it, but since I'm there, I'm gonna change it because I'm just weird like that. That way, if there's ever a problem, Somebody else can't go, oh, the other guy didn't do this. Look at that. Because you never know 
when you're going to end up being the other guy. Like the other guy that just dropped the tool and it didn't hit the ground. Oh, cool. Let's see if I can see it. Yeah, <laughs> fat chance. That uh, thing's gone. Very gone. It's gotta be. Oh wait, I see you, I think. Oh no, I can't reach. My fingertips touching it. And it's brass, I think, too. So I can't use a magnet. Yeah. It it's on the ground now. Okay, let's try this again without dropping my tool. Yeah, I'm suffering old man fatigue. It's like 3.40, I'm ready for a nap. Okay, there's the other valve. Let me go fetch two of those and we can get back to work. Okay, got one new one. Let's not drop it. Does it move? Does it move? Okay, yeah, you can drop it there and just back it into that parking space. Got it, okay. Hey, look, another van for me on a tow truck. I knew it. It's, it's Van October. Because I'm the van man. Oh look, I didn't even notice. Look at the one I took off. It broke in half on the way out. Never saw that before. Did. And of course I need to fetch this O-ring and replace this. That's not gonna stay. There it is. Got the new one. It's green so you know it's good. cycling switch beautiful and we'll give that a quick click that's good all right let's pull this down into a vacuum and uh, while that's happening I'll pop these headlights out to replace them with the ultra high efficiency super bright Excellent nighttime vision headlamp assemblies. Please go on. Oh, this is how I hurt my wrist, I'm trying to use it as a pry bar in weird spots. I bet that's what happened. Okay. Step, vacuum, 10 minutes of that. I should have these headlights done. Yes. Alrighty. Now these guys, I think they come out with just a couple Phillips screws. Four to be precise, if memory serves. This, uh, this chrome metal bezel thing here holds these lamps in position. Come off. There we go. And the new ones are no thrill units either. They're still made of glass, sealed beams, same plug, same style. Stick it in there and screw it in. I'm curious to see if they're any brighter. Not that I can tell because it's broad daylight outside. All right, I've uh, gone ahead and um, 
got the other side done over here already. Let's turn these on and see how bright they are. I'm betting not very. Sure. Oh, this is cool. My boy went to start this and this is what it does. I don't even know how it's possible, but it's happening. Maybe it's steam engine powered. I fixed it. See, I touched it and it stopped doing that. I got the I got the master master touch. Uh, we we threw a jumper box on there. Let's see if it starts now. Nope. Oh, it's doing it again. Alarm. Okay, round two. Let's turn off all the loads. Yeah. No. Hey, just go grab a new battery and throw it in. They're gonna get it anyway. Here, I'll hold the clamps on. You you try to start it. Oh, oh, there we go. Try it again. I touched it. Goodbye, van. I don't have to work on. Hello, van. I need to finish working on. I better turn these headlights off before I wreck this battery, too. All right, y'all. You ready? It's the most exciting part of this failure of a video. Here it comes. Oh, I spilt it everywhere. I suck today. Terrible. Oh, well. There we go. Yeah, we'll put the lid back on so it doesn't volcano out when I start it. I actually spilled that on purpose so I'd have a, a uh, like a solvent to clean this off with. Leaves a nice sheen and protects against corrosion. Okay, see? And yeah, we're good. Alrighty, AC machine's done. Let's stop things the engine. Oh, that pump's screaming. Ring. And AC's on full blast. I hope that thing's gonna work. Probably not. Let's get this out of here. Okay, third time's the charm. And spilled it everywhere. Oh no. Absolutely terrible, Ray. You are, you are the worst at your job today, ever. I think I owe you guys an apology on this one. I spent a lot of time looking at stuff and not a lot of time fixing anything and I just ended up kind of dead in the water. Yeah. Frankly, it's embarrassing. Um, I'll do better next time, I, I hope, and I'll, I'll try to. Maybe I'll change my coffee and try a different flavor and see what happens then. Anyway, all jokes aside, I was I was really hoping to, to, you know, to get a lot of work done in this and I am kind of disappointed that uh, we had to just pull the low hanging fruit uh, regarding this van, uh, especially since I found some kind of serious safety issues in there. I mean, you, you hit the brakes and the thing wants to drive off into the other uh, into the other lane. Uh, that's kind of a no good as far as I'm concerned. Uh, anyway, but at least they'll be able to see at night uh, while they're wrecking into stuff. Knock on wood. Um, but anyway, guys, uh, all that being said, I'm pretty tired. It's the end of the day, and I'm ready to ski daddle and get on out of here. So at this point, I'd just like to thank you guys for, for watching this video. I, I know it was tough going, and uh, those of you who are, who are here this long, I, I appreciate you guys being here for sure. Um, as always, per my normal protocol, I would like to simply ask you that if you liked this video to let me know about it by tapping tapping that thumbs up button. If you didn't like this video, you can let me know about that in comment land down below. Uh, again, thank you guys for watching. And of course, I have to remind you to not forget to have a great day. See you guys later.